Yeah, well, g'day. Uh, today, I'm going to be a little bit different with what I normally do. As you know, when you're in a caravan, you really don't have a lot of room. So when you're sort of listening to music, which is uh, one of the things I like to do, and obviously videos and all the rest of the nonsense, the sound that's produced by my little laptop, um, not exactly the best. I've, got, I've currently got it hooked up with a... Uh, HDMI cable uh, running into a little screen over here, so we'll just fire this thing up and uh, you get an idea of the quality of the sound or lack of quality as the case may be. That really doesn't do it for me. Um, it makes noise, but really nothing spectacular. You have to be pretty desperate to listen to that. Now obviously the way to increase something like that, or the sound, is to listen through headphones. You know, big whoopee. I mean you can you can listen to music with headphones. The quality, I've got to admit, isn't too bad for stereo. It's you know acceptable. But not really something I'd like to do, you know, especially when you have a partner who wants to listen as well. Now I went out and bought a little box, this little tiny sound card here, a little add-on um, for the laptop. Nothing spectacular, you can pick them up on eBay fairly simple. Um, if you look on there, you'll, you'll dig them up pretty quick. Uh, it comes with a bit of software, a um, little, little tiny disc. Now, I use Linux, uh, so obviously this disc is mainly designed for, I think it's uh, Windows sort of operation system. It has uh, drivers, uh, for, I think it's Red Hat, uh, which again, I don't particularly use. I use uh, Linux Mint. I'm currently on 17.2 and um, the uh, way that you get it working is you have to run Pulse um, Audio. You can install it pretty quick, very very simple. It doesn't come pre-installed in, uh, in, in Linux Mint I should say. I'll stop the music for the moment. And you just, uh, at this point you just simply type in Pulse and it'll, it'll pop up a heap of stuff in there. Now, I'm running this one here, which is the uh, Pulse Audio Volume Control. And uh, by running the volume control, it gives you access to uh, the actual inner workings uh, of ELSA, which is the uh, wonderful little things that it runs on. Um, let's have a look up here. We can type in, because I've already installed it, so we'll just type in Pulse. And there's Pulse Audio, and it pops up. Um, there's your ELSA plugins, uh, output devices. Um, uh, and as you can see, we've just got speakers at the moment because I've got nothing running in the background. I've stopped it running. Um, if we fire it up, we'll get we'll get it up again. Uh, where are we? Uh, recording output advanced. Might help if I have that turned on. Recording. Yeah, as you can see, nothing terribly exciting happening here. Okay. Now, let's come from there and we'll change it all of a sudden down to, um, oh, let's go here. Which one? That one will do. Digital out, uh, digital sound. And you can see we've got quite a bit going here. Now, of course, the speakers aren't plugged in, so you can't hear a darn thing. So I'll have to stop it at this and try again. Got the little audio card over here plugged in at the moment for you. And we're back to this little thing here. We'll start playing again. This will still be the sound from the uh, little tinny speakers, which is pretty non-existent. Now, if we come down to our um, sound driver down here, and uh, we change the output device, uh, I should be saying, and we go from that to here. Back to speakers. to the surround sound. Now, with the surround sound running, you go back to your volume control. Now, you can see I've got it all set up nicely here. The sound is absolutely phenomenal. So you can now have big sound out of your little laptop and doesn't cost you a fortune which is great if you want to watch um, some videos you drop a DVD in and uh, unbelievable 
a lot better than listening to a little tiny tinny speakers come with your um, with your standard uh, laptop. And uh, my little HP Compact is uh, getting a bit ancient now, so that's why I use Linux and uh, I don't use uh, Windows anymore. Hope you found this of uh, some interest, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.